Hey folks, um, I'm just coming off of my last vlog straight into this one because the 48 hour readathon is about to start. It's supposed to start at 5 o'clock, whatever your time zone is. Um, it's after 5 now, so I'm going to go by Australia time and start at 7 o'clock. My TBR for this weekend will start with what I'm currently reading. Um, I've got the Travelling Cat Chronicles and the Kamigawa Food Detectives. I do have four more books that I've put on the reading list for this weekend. And I don't actually care if I finish any of these. I do care if I finish these two. Um, those two I want to finish because they need to go back to the library in a couple of days. But um, I have four more books on this list and they're just ones that I'm excited about reading and would like to start. And I always read more than one book at a time. Some Sometimes I get up to like eight books at a time, which is a bit unruly but um if I get bored of one of these or if I want to switch it up I like to have the options there. We've got The Spirit Bears Its Teeth by Andrew Joseph White. I read Hell Followed With Us um in December I think November or December. Really really liked it so I've got this out from the library really looking forward to reading it so I think this will be the one that I start straight away. Um, also on the list is This Other Eden, by which Paul is this? Paul Harding. There's so many Pauls on the Booker Prize long list and short list, I keep getting them all confused. Because there's Paul Harding, there's, and, and I think The Bee Sting was also written by a Paul, and um, Prophet Song was also written by a Paul, and that's just the short list. I think there was another Paul on the long list as well which is just insane to me so many pauls also have stone blind by natalie haynes this isn't exactly a short book oh it's not actually that long i thought it was longer it looks bigger than it is so it looks like it's about 300 400 pages yeah 360 something pages um i've been looking forward to reading this we love medusa she's a queen um so yeah, we've got that, and then this one's a big chonky baby, a chonky lass. Um, yeah, I think this one's like 700 pages. Yeah, this one's 700 pages, so obviously won't be finishing this, but it's here. So The End of August by Yu Midi. Um, I'm really excited about this because um, I'm not a big fan of like YA, but I'm getting more into YA again, and I think that is thanks in large part to Andrew Joseph White's other book, um, Hell Followed With Us, because I really enjoyed that. So thanks for getting me back into YA. Um, but yeah, those are the books that I'm going to be reading this weekend. Ugh. I finished The Travelling Cat Chronicles. It made me cry because of course it did. There aren't very many things that actually make me cry. But the things that do make me cry, make me cry, like, dramatically. I feel like my nose is all red and everything. And those are, like, animals. Anything to do with animals being sad or anything. Every time. This book. Oh. And, like, the only other two things that make me cry. And this one feels stupid. But it, anything that reminds me of my dad. So, like, just wholesome dads doing wholesome things. And then third, like, anything that makes me think about, like, Taiwan. But, like, oh, I finished this book. I put it down and I was like, I don't even want to fucking look at you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start, keep thinking about it now. So I'm going to read this because this is a little bit more wholesome. Um, I mean, it is really wholesome. I don't think it's, I don't think it's really my type of book, um, with what I've read of it so far. It's fine, like it's enjoyable to read. Oh, get it together. Wow. Um, it's enjoyable, but um, um, if I start getting further into this and I feel like I'm not really in the mood, I have plenty of other options over there, so... I'm actually <sighs> sit on the floor. Speaking of cats, there's mine. 
love him so much. I just, I don't know what I want to read now. I feel really dead in the head <laughs> after finishing the Travelling Cat Chronicles. Um, it's fine though. <laughs> Ugh. I hate crying. Crying's the worst. I'm going to make a cup of tea and then I'm going to read some more. Why am I so blurry for? There we go. Now you can see me in. Noises. Now you can see me in high def. Uh, I finished the Kamigawa Food Detectives. I didn't really enjoy it. It was fine. It was cozy. It was cute. Um, I feel the same way about it as I do about Before the Coffee Gets Cold. I just... It was a nice read. I just didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. I got my son to choose my next book, so it's going to be Stone Blind. I'm genuinely looking forward to this one. Let's keep going. It's after midnight now, so it's now the 6th. Ooh, that's attractive. <laughs> yeah, I look like a thumb. Um... This is okay so far. It's 2.30 a.m. now, so I'm going to go to bed. It's fine. Um, it's pretty good. I like the writing style so far. It's better than Herc. Herc I really didn't uh, enjoy. I DNF'd Herc uh, the other day. Um, there's a lot of different perspectives going on. I kind of thought it might be a bit more from the perspective of Medusa. But I don't mind it. It's kind of giving some perspective about like the people that influenced her story the people the characters the gods and so on um but yeah i'm interested to see how it goes i don't think i'm quite in the mood for it i think i might have uh greek mythology to myself out because i did read electra in december I've tried to read Herc. There was another one. I think there was another one. I can't remember. So now I'm just kind of, I feel a little bit jaded by it. But I don't know. We'll see how I go with this. I do want to finish it. But I might have to switch to something else. I've just added, I don't know if I showed this already before, but I just added this to the, to the TBR. Zachary Ying and the Dragon Emperor. I'm going to use this for my pacifier for the monthly Pokemon prompt. Because it's a middle grade. I genuinely don't remember. I know I've talked about this on camera before, but I don't remember if it was for this vlog or the previous vlog. I have no idea. But anyway. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Right now, sleep. Oh, I shouldn't have stayed up so late last night. I should have gone to bed at like midnight when I started like flagging because it's 12 midday now and I just woke up and I feel like shit. I need tea. Oh, my hair looks crazy. I need to have a shower still. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I moved on to reading The Spirit Bears Its Teeth. Um, just because uh, I've enjoyed what I've read of Stoneblind so far. I just think I'm not really in the mood for more Greek mythology. I'm a bit Greek mythology out, so I'm going to read this and then go back to that. But I'm really enjoying this. I feel like I could finish this just today. <laughs> Um, I really, God, I really enjoyed Hell Followed With Us, which is by the same author, Andrew Joseph White. Um, this book also features a trans main character, uh, which I really like. Um, I think I'm glad that I read Hell Followed With Us first, because I almost read this first, um. Because if I had read this first, I wouldn't have enjoyed Hell Followed with us as much as I did. 
because I definitely prefer the writing in this. Um, and yeah, like, because Hell with Us is a very good book. Don't get me wrong, but I absolutely prefer this book. So I'm glad I read the second. Um, and the only reason I read the second in the end is because I realized Hell Followed With Us was his debut. So, you know, I want to read, I try to read um, people's books in like publishing order. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. I'm so happy I picked this up. It's so good. I definitely have to get, because these are library books, I, I got them out from the library. I definitely need to get my own copies of them because these would be really fun to revisit um, for like something that's, because I find these really easy to read and they're YA, which I don't usually read. I kind of went off of YA years ago. Um, it just didn't pique my interest anymore. But I'm, oh, couldn't tell you. I, I'm really enjoying this. It's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to reading. I'm nearly finished. The spirit bears its teeth. I'm really enjoying it. I've got about a hundred pages left, so I'll definitely be finished it tonight. And then tomorrow I can try and focus on finishing Stone Blind. And then hopefully that'll be four books finished at least during the 48 hour sprint. 48 hour sprints, 48 hour readathon. So I'm happy about that. I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm out of breath. My lungs kind of suck, so. I'm out of breath all the time. Whew, I need to work on that. Um, I'm hoping that I can, once I finish, like, if it doesn't take me too long to finish Stone Blind, that I can read a little bit of this other Eden as well, because I really want to read that. Um, the end of August, I'm going to have to try and rush my way through during the week, but that's okay. I... My son, I think I have a new obsession. My son got these Kinder ha what are, Happy Hippos for Christmas. Can't remember who from, probably from my mum. Like he likes Kinder surprises and stuff, but he's not really keen on these. And <laughs> I'm obsessed. It's like a crispy biscuit and then it's got like a creamy filling inside. Kind of like the Kinder Buenos have a creamy filling inside, but the filling in this... Reminds me of Dunkaroos. Can you even buy Dunkaroos anymore? I'm going to see if we can find Dunkaroos. And like, oh, it's like, it's like chocolate Dunkaroos. Like the consistency is like Dunkaroos. And I really like them and I'm going to have to get more of them for me. But the problem is that I'll sit and I'll eat a whole packet of these in one go. And I really don't need to be doing that. I'm trying to like improve my health, not worsen it. But I'm going to have to have a look and see if you can still get Dunkaroos. I haven't seen them in, like, decades, potentially. <laughs> I love Dunkaroos. The strawberry Dunkaroos, they were so good. My cat's over there scratching his cat tree. Oh, now I'm just thinking about Dunkaroos. I'm going to have to check that out. Anyway, I'm going to keep reading. I have to... <laughs> I have to show you, I have to show you this, because he does this all the time. He's angry with me because he wants more food, but he's put on too much weight, so he's not allowed any more food. Baby, I know you can hear me. Baby. He'll sit and he'll purposely not face me oh my carpet's disgusting I need to vacuum I've been rearranging so vacuuming's not been on my mind but look at this yes straight back to not looking at me he's round and he's angry he would very much like to eat more food poor guy hard life 
<laughs> I gave him some more food anyway because I'm a fucking softy. Look at him though. Look at him. My baby. <laughs> Ooh, face masks are always a little bit horrifying. If I move it too much, this one slips onto my lip and I don't want it to do that because it gives me the ick. So I've got to talk like I can't move my jaw. <laughs> um, I haven't done any read. Well, a lie. I did read a couple of chapters of this this morning. Um, it's a few hours left on the forty eight hour readathon. I reckon if I like push through it, I can finish this. I'm gonna do some live sprints in a bit. At the moment, and now is live. So once she's done. I'll start. Um, it's so hot. It's so humid. I had to do a face mask too because I'm like a lizard right now. My skin is so dry because my sinuses have been really bad. I've been blowing my nose a lot because um, allergies. And um, all the skin around my nose is really dry. You can really see the eyebrow hairs. <laughs> I sometimes think that I should get my eyebrows done but then I think about how tedious it's going to be to do it myself and I don't want to and then I think about someone else touching my face if I pay them to do it and that doesn't I don't vibe with that either so I just never do but also my hair is usually sort of down over my face anyway so it doesn't matter and also it's my eyebrows no one else should be caring about them Anyway, I'm going to read a bit and see how we go with the sprints because I don't know if Nell wants to go longer or I wasn't going to sprint at all this weekend, but Emily, who was going to sprint, do the final sprints session for the 48 hour readathon isn't feeling well. So I said that I'd take it over, which is cool. I can do that. I've also set up sprints for tomorrow night because I need to get through all of these library books and it'll kind of help me motivate a little bit anyway I need to make some tea you I'm like breaking out on my chin um I finished stone blind it was fine it was fine I think I gave it 3.5 stars on storygraph 4 on goodreads because I was round up I think I round up it was fine. I think I would have liked it more if I had been actually in the mood for it. Um, what was that? Something just moved? I think it was just something falling over. I'm live at the moment. I'm live at the moment doing sprints. Um, for the end of the 48 hour tbr thon I'm officially done with it. It's after 7pm now. Uh, but there are obviously people still reading. And I'm just going to stream until I feel tired anyway. You know. As one does. So. Yeah. That's it really. That's my 48 hour tbr thon I finished Kamigawa Food Detectors. I finished the Travelling Cat Chronicles. I started and finished both The Spirit Bears Its Teeth and Stone Blind. And now I'm reading This Other Eden, which I'm barely into. I'm on page 15. And I'm already really enjoying. Um, it's really intriguing. Uh... It doesn't have quotation marks, so if that's something that bothers you, don't read this. But I'm really intrigued, and of course this is one of the Booker Prize uh, long-listed books. So, ticking off one of those. It also, apparently, won a Pulitzer. Good for Paul Harding. Um, there's Paul Harding. The Sir himself. Yeah, I'm enjoying it already. It's really interesting. Um, I'm going to get back to reading. But I think this will be the end of the vlog. So yeah. Happy uh, 
New Year if this is if this comes out first for 2024 I don't I don't actually know I don't know how I'm going to edit everything that I've been filming since December um but yeah happy new year hope everyone had a good holiday um looking forward to spending some time with you over 2024 so yeah